What up, YouTubers? Bogon kicking it here with some of my commentary on some handpicked Smash matches of mine. Kicking it as some Captain Falcon. Right, this first one here. It's actually my first Smash, my first Smash match in general by F in like I don't know, 18 months, almost two years, maybe. I don't know, a long time. I just picked the DS up, 3DS up, went online and just, you know, 1v1 for glory and this was the match. I was nervous up until this point right here. I'd have to go back and watch, I don't know if he had his second jump, or his double jump. But up until that point I was pretty nervous. He was kind of kicking me around and I just... When I'm going against opponents that have counters or ranges when I'm a uh, Captain Falcon they just I just they don't get in my head I get in my own head thought that was a pretty nice setup then they gotta be able to pull it off but Got the double dunk, and then I ended up losing, I don't know, 12, 13 matches in a row. <laughs> oh boy, this Greninja. If I remember, this was a bit of a grind. I just came out trying to use my speed, the Captain Falcon's speed against this Greninja and this this kid whoever he is playing it. I don't know if you saw he just threw the uh, the shadow out. That I spent the whole time worrying about that shadow and he actually I I read that first one and you'll see he gets me good later on in the match. But this kid back, back to the speed. This kid whipped around his Greninja. And with, like, precision. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just coming after him, and he's just countering and going and coming after me with all the speed he can. That's where it gets me good. But you know, he's running around the map, I'm running around the map. Or she, I don't know if it's he. There, they're running around. Caught him in the ground stomp. I'm lucky they didn't bounce too high. Greninja could probably punish me on that one. This is about when I decided to change up my strategy. Down to one stock apiece. I'm just running after him and he's just running after me and he's getting taken the better of it. So I just kind of plant myself in the middle. Let him come to me, you know. And I can see the angles he's coming from and I can figure it out for the win right there. I guess my biggest advice would be take take whatever character you use and learn how to use that character four or five different ways. It's another guy who's probably faster than Captain Falcon. <laughs> Just ch charge straight into it. 
one of his charged forward smashes. I'm lucky that I evened out. See, I'm worried about that counter. I could have punished him right there with the up tilt. But I'm worried about the counters. But there, Matt. Little Mac with his recovery, it isn't that strong. It's kind of easily readable. I don't know. Not an easy stomp by any means, but. You know, easily read. And see, there's the counter. I just dive right in. Tried to bait it. But it still worked my way. That's all you can ask for. A little fun before this Gandorf match. I'm not a fan of mirror matches. Like, I don't... I don't... Well, it's not that I don't like going again. I love playing Smash, but... You know. Captain Falcon versus Captain Falcon is what it is. I mean, Ganondorf has more or less the same moves, as y'all know. But... You know, they function differently, and he's overall a different character. And th this is just... This is a fun match that I like. This guy's playing a- this guy plays a mean Ganondorf. But see, there's a couple characters, growing up playing Smash, I always lost to one of my buddies, who was Link, Ganondorf, and Zelda Sheik. So those matchups, I, I know them so well. Because those were his mains. Link, Ganondorf, Zelda Sheik. So it's just a matter of me knowing the matchup. As opposed to, you know, their skill. This, this guy's a better Ganondorf than I am Captain Falcon. But I've played better Ganondorf so many times. You see, that was an awesome setup and just missed the recovery there. Otherwise, he probably would have pulled this whole match out, but tied up 0%, 0%. He's great at those quick stomps. But this is one of those matches where I need to just use Captain Falcon's speed to my advantage and just tally a percentage. <laughs> that right there almost cost me the match. It's just trying to mirror his move. He did that drop the down B. So I tried to do the down B from the air and I just I just escaped that forward smash by frames. Don't know what he threw out the uh, the power punch there, but they went for it. <laughs> What's a hitbox? And they're just you know Ganondorf at a high percentage. Just went for the down tilt, just to get the distance, make that recovery that much harder, and it worked out. But again, that's just knowing Ganondorf doesn't have that good a recovery. Oh, look at that, and right back into another Ganondorf matchup.
<laughs> it's like, how many times could I just charge in there and get that, that up there? This was another good Ganondorf, but I'm gonna give my no what's a hitbox again? <laughs> but I'm gonna give my just you know, it's knowing the matchups. You gotta know how you you and your character plays against the opposing not even just the opposing person, the opposing person's character. Cause if you can exploit two or three different weaknesses, it doesn't matter what your opponent's gonna throw at you if you, if you have two or three different counters. He, he was gonna stop me. Didn't give him the satisfaction. Just caught him with the back air. It's like... One of Captain Falcon's end, like finishing moves, and I just, it's one that I never even remember to think to use. It's just the back air. It always comes to me when I'm like, shoot, shoot, I've tried everything, what else can I do? Oh yeah, back airs are a good launcher. Caught him with the knee. Uh, so satisfying. like that and Zelda's forward air are like the two most satisfying moves to catch in the game. Back to Brinstar, but different matchup. Different BGM. Gonna rock and Mewtwo. Now this is a matchup I'm unfamiliar with. To put things into a time frame, I, you know, been out of the Smash game since about Mewtwo was released. You know, pick it up a couple times now and then. But I did play a lot of Melee. Mewtwo's just so powerful. I'm just gonna be that guy and I'm gonna say Mewtwo is what Lucario wanted to be. There we go, just good place back air right there. Yeah, just made it to forward smash. See, if this guy just kept throwing out range moves, I would I would have just started. I would have lost to myself because it. I just you know my all my setups are are it just throws a cog or a wrench in the cogs of all my setups. A oh, little bit of perseverance, you know. And a little, uh, <laughs> a little bounce off the head. He was gonna try. I, I assume he was trying to teleport to the edge, and then after my little, my little toadstool there, you know, just <laughs> the, the the synapses were firing, and the motions, the fingers were going to the buttons. But moving on to this Ike matchup. Oh, oh, and this guy blew it nine seconds in. See what did I? Oh, oh, and then I blew it. Nineteen seconds in. I see why I chose this one. 
one v one one stack instead of two stacks. That's all that was. Double self destruct to start. <clears throat> That's pro tier right there. Oh man, and the whole thing done in like thirty nine seconds <laughs> with the spike finish. Well, I think that's all of them. That's seven matches. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm your Vogon. And thanks, not only to these guys, but thanks to everybody I've smashed against. I love Smash.